Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox and Dwight. So in this video, we're going to learn how to implement a recycler view inside of Fragment, right? I have already made tutorials in which I have implemented recycler view inside an activity. So many of you were commenting to make a tutorial in which we implement a recycler view inside a Fragment. So this tutorial is for those people who want to learn that. So let me just give you a glimpse of what we're going to get by the end of this video. So I just open up my emulator. Here you can see this is a recycler view, right? We have some list items. These are hard coded list items, but this recycler view is not implemented inside an activity. I mean, the recycler view is not a direct child of this activity. It is a child of a fragment inside an activity, right? So this is what we're going to learn and we get by the end of this tutorial. So if you want to learn the same and implement it to your Android application, make sure you watch this video till the end. So without much ado, let's get started. So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button as well. So guys, in this tutorial, we'll be using some uh, constant data. For example, these images. And if I just open up my string XML, these hardcoded strings we will be using. So some styles are there. So I do not want to waste my time on this. So those of you who want to make the same project that I'll be teaching in this tutorial for you guys I have made a base project right in which all these things will be there right you go to this link I'll put the link for this in the description you go here and you just clone this project right and you open up this project the all these things will be done in this project all the strings and these images will be there so we do not need to waste time on this right so I hope that you guys have paused the video and cloned this project. So the very first thing we are going to do is we are going to go to our main activity and we'll implement a frame layout here, right? And we'll align it or I would say constrain it to the parent on all the four sides. We'll give it ID frame layout and now we need a fragment in which we are going to implement our recycler view so let us just add an empty fragment so fragment blank fragment and let me just give it a name of home fragment so okay we have got the fragment just go to the front end code delete this and now we are going to add a recycler view inside this it's okay give it id i'll just give it id of recycler view only and for the list item We already have the list item in our project. We have made this list item. This was already designed in your base project. So we have added this. So this is how our recycler view will look like with all the items in it. And now, so that is pretty much everything for the front end part. So now let us just dive into the back end code the main focus of this video so the very first thing we need is we need a data class so just right click here so we need need a data class and we are going to name it as news because it will define the object of our news item this list view right so our item has two main things the image and the heading so you can modify it according to your items Now this class will represent our object of our recycler view item. So we have created a data class. Now we need the adapter for a recycler view. So just go here, Kotlin class, and we are going to name it as my adapter. Now this will take the object or I would say the list 
the news items spell list now we need to define an inner class so this is adapter will be exactly same the way we are going to implement it inside an activity so we need to implement some members so just select all okay and yeah, let me just cut this done press hold enter to implement this class and here we forgot to put this right so this is will be our view holder and these three methods we need to override so let us just override the very first method on bind view holder well current item is equal to the item of the news list and we'll get the position here so holder dot okay we have not implemented this as well so let us just do this real quick We will set the title image of our list item. Right, so we'll get the current item and we'll set the title image and the text or heading of that particular item with the help of this list that will get even argument so now let us just override this on create view holder done and the last thing we need to override is this get item count so we'll just return the number of items that are there in the news list so Done. Use this dot six. So that is pretty much everything we need to do inside this adapter. Now let us just go to our segment. Now we need to declare certain reference variables. Let me just quickly do that. So okay we have defined the reference variable for the adapter recycle view and we have defined an array list which will contain the news objects then we have created three arrays one for the image id heading and the news right so let us just go here and create a method for initializing the data So we have initialized the array list for the news. So these this array will contain the image IDs, right? And then we have the array for the heading. So if you guys are wondering, I'm using Control D to duplicate each line.
okay guys so inside this method what we have done is we have initialized our array list that will contain the object of the news then we have initialized all the three arrays for the image id the heading and the news itself right then we have created the object of the news for all the items that are present inside this image id right and uh, we have added the image id and the heading you must you guys must wonder that why we have added this so in case you want to implement a on click listener and you want to show the whole image so for that i have implemented this in this tutorial we will not be using this particular array so you can skip this part so yeah so we have created all the objects and we have added all the objects to the news array list we are going to call this method and for that we need to write on view created right so we want to overwrite inside this method so first we are going to initialize the data okay we have called the data initialize that will initialize all the data the hardcore data that we have there in the project then we have uh, set the parameters to the recycler view Lay layout manager linear layout manager then we have referred to the recycler view with the help of find view by id then we have set this layout manager to our recycler view set we have set the fix size is true then we have created the object of the adapter that we have created here right we have created the object of this and we have passed this news array list as an argument because here we have defined that whenever the object of this class will be created we will get a array list that will contain the news objects right so okay then we have set the adapter to our recycler view so that is pretty much everything we need to do inside our fragment so the last thing is that we want to replace our frame layout with our fragment so let us just quickly do that so we have already done this in many of the videos so we'll create a method called replace fragment we'll pass the object of the fragment that we want to replace it with. right we want to replace the frame layout with our home fragment so let's just create this method So okay, guys, so these line of code will replace our frame layout with the fragment that we'll get it here as an argument. So we have done everything that needs to be done to implement the recycler view inside a fragment. Now let us just quickly install this app to our emulator and see if it is working fine or not, right? So okay, guys, the app has been installed to our emulator and here you can see, we can see all the items inside the recycler view and this recycler view is implemented inside a fragment so this is how you implement the recycler view inside a fragment so i hope that you guys have understood the code but still if you have any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section i can dm you on instagram the instagram username will be there on screen right now and if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and in case you're not this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for seeing notification of the upcoming videos so that is it for today's video see another video bye